Welcome to the jungle, I'm Tyler for Shock's Guide, and this is my brutal campaign walkthrough that will be commentated. Um, first off, um, let's talk about how this mission is going to be a bit different from any other videos you've seen before. I'm going to be using a very different strategy. Um, instead of mass marine, a bit of marauder, and kind of a goliath combination, I'm actually going to be going on the offensive, but with missile turret batteries, uh, defending triple... Uh, Terrazine gas expansions, and, and I'm gonna be taking them three at a time. So sure you watch and uh, that may seem a bit odd to you, but uh, this mission is gonna get wrapped up. I'm gonna go seven for seven, and it should take 10 or 15 minutes. It's gonna be very, very quick. Um, before you do this, if you have any money left over on the Hyperion ship, I'd recommend upgrading your missile turrets right now um, for the rest of the campaign because missile turrets will be a Big, big help, seeing as the brutal computer loves to get that uh, air combination, which you don't really see in uh, hard. Well, you do see in hard, but not to the same extent, or normal, or casual. Um, a lot of people kind of overlook it, kind of, you know, shrug their shoulders and don't consider it valuable, but it is quite helpful. Now, seeing how it's going to be a little boring up until the action begins, I'm going to give you a little uh, secret about this level. You can pick up a feat of strength, which is a hidden achievement. It's not listed anywhere, but if you do everything you need for it, you can get it. Um, what you have to do, I think it's called the... Mm, I can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty simple to get. You have to destroy all Protoss forces and buildings on this level on normal, hard, or brutal. And that's pretty much it. It isn't relevant um, how much tears in you get. Um, you just have to keep the Protoss from... Um, blocking you from I think seven, but it should be pretty simple. Um, there's going to be a uh, a base uh, in the upper right corner. It's a little mini base, and the majority of the Protoss base, uh, I think they have two or three uh, mineral fields back there, is going to be in the upper left hand corner. Now a lot of this level is triggered on um, cues. You must depart. And the first trigger you're going to see would be uh, this Protoss guy saying you can't take our grape juice. Um, pretty much once he does that and the whole spiel is completed, he's going to send in a small zealot stalker force to uh, the ramp where I have a bunker placed already. Um, very simple to defeat. And right after that, you're going to want to... Uh, like gonna get on the move and head the uh, to the upper, we only oh it really is upper, time. but the uh, triple the grape juice field um, at about mm, 10 o'clock if you're looking at your base and you, right there, and you view your base as a clock. That last one straight off to the left, you don't really have to get as it's not well defended throughout the majority of the mission. It actually appears that their attack has come from the left side of my base, which is a little awkward. Um, so go ahead and just wipe it out. It should be pretty simple if you put a reactor on your barracks at the beginning and you've been pumping out marines and medics. And by the way, I have the upgrade for medics that allows them to be built at a normal barracks and not a tech lab only. Also, make sure to send about four or five SUVs with your attacking force as we will be using the missile turret um, offense. Okay, um, now the troops have a few stationary, uh, or the grape juice fields have a few stationary defenses. Um, I quickly repaired uh, the one Goliath that was weak. And uh, now you're going to see me putting up about four or five missile turrets. And uh, these are going to be very helpful because um, after you're done with them, you're going to think, oh, well, that was, you know, 400 minerals kind of down the drain. But the Protoss kind of infrequently will send a small attack uh, to your base from this little channel and uh, the aerial part of it is going to get chewed apart very quickly. Now once you try and pick out a Terrazine, um, the Protoss is going to come right away, so it's very helpful if you pick them all at the same time, um, so you won't have any lag in between like uh, once the first one's done to once the second one's done. And as you can see right now, the missile turret field is just obliterating that air. Um, so all your ground force has to do is focus on the other ground force and let the missile turrets handle the rest of it. And if your ground force is getting hit on, just run behind them so the missile turret will take the root of the attack. And uh, I know I don't show it to you, but a huge air force did just get wiped out. And uh, now you can just go back and macro in your base while you're, you're happily slaughtering off 
the uh, protosters attempt to defend their grape juice. What's going on? And if you include the, the one Terrigan spot sir. directly to the left I'll of your base, um, you are halfway done with the mission already, and it's been uh, about four or five minutes. Also, make sure that you have your uh, SCVs rally to uh, the mineral field after they drop off the, uh, the grape juice, because they'll just stand idle right by that command center and do nothing for the game. Now, our second base that we're going to be focusing base on will be directly to the north. You're going to have to go through a very small uh, Protoss mini base, and then you're home free pretty much. Um, and I'm going to send off like four or five marines to take care of that stalker, because, you know, as I said, that small little air force of the Protoss sent to my main base is getting intercepted by the outpost and obliterated. I don't even have to think about it. Um, so I'm going to bring those marines back, rally them up with my uh, small goliath force, uh, empty out the bunker because uh, my base is pretty much going to be um, left alone for the remainder of the mission. And um, it's interesting how the AI reacts. Uh, once you piss it off, it'll come for you. So pretty much all you have to do is go in there, poke something, and run out, and then you can pretty much trick the computer into fighting away from their cannon, which uh, gives them a significant advantage. And as always, the key with the Void Ray is to bring them down before they get rolling. That, uh, that beam they have charges up over time, the longer it's left fighting, the more damage it does by a long shot. Um, very dangerous thing. And I put another missile turret uh, up there because one missile turret can hold off a good amount of stuff, but two will make sure you're nice and safe. And now I'm just cleaning up the uh, little mess left by the Protoss in their base and sending out some SCVs. And it's very important that you continue to build uh, workers at your command center because the one drawback to this uh, style of play is to use a lot of SCVs and more often than not, they're not going to make it back home. And uh, when you see that blue kind of screen pop up, uh, my record on off key is bound to the same one that brings up the achievement, F9, so it pops up whenever I want to save. And uh, I do that because I don't want to like show you my big save entry, it, it cuts out time. And uh, I'm just going to build four uh, towers right there, and then I'm going to draw back whatever Protoss army is going to try and defend them. Because I found it a lot better to have like a backup base before you go ahead and try and secure the middle of the field where the cannons are right now. Uh, one thing this uh, strategy is kind of weak against is the Colossus if you're not near a missile turret. Uh, missile turrets actually can attack uh, Colossi. They're vulnerable to both air and ground attack, whereas they can only shoot ground, um, which is just kind of a fun little fact. And now I'm putting up this missile turret field. Although, just for note, when you go ahead and do this, it probably will be a bit more helpful if you put it right about where that medic is in the back, kind of more in the middle uh, of the three of them. Of the three grape juice fields, that is. Um, for whatever reason, I put them a little far back than what would be helpful. And, uh, you know, it still obviously does a good amount of work, but it could be, have been more efficient with the uh, uppermost uh, grape juice field. And blah blah blah. Go ahead and build my stuff. I'm not gonna build a refinery, that wouldn't help out. And then I'm gonna send in what uh, forces I have rallied to the Protoss uh, mini base. Um, so right about now, I'm going to just get the final uh, points of importance uh, ironed out for my uh, my attack plan. Um, as you can see, the strategy works out pretty well. There isn't many drawbacks to it, as long as you're prepared and you know your weakness. Um, I'll be go ahead, or I'm gonna go ahead and take those uh, little terrazine things, and I'm gonna do them all right now at the same time, so the Protoss um, will have a much shorter window. Rather than going for one, then the other, then the other, it takes three times as long as it would if I took all three at the same time. But one thing to keep in mind, um, if an enemy force came in the back door where that small little marine uh, goliath force was, 
they would attack the worker until something attacked them back. So you always want to have something near that SCV so you don't uh, have that get picked off. And just mowing down the uh, best, really the best move they had to defend their uh, their holy relic, and it's pretty much game over aside from that one SCV that tried to attack the Colossus. Um, and the second one that tried. Um, that's it. I've collected all seven. I have them in route, and this took about ten minutes to accomplish. Is under attack. Once again, I am Tyler, reporting for Shock's StarCraft Guide, and this has been my campaign walkthrough. We just need one more canister. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terezin altar.